Five, the man accused of exposing himself in front of schoolgirls making his first court appearance. CMPD charged 37 year old Eric Henderson with two counts of indecent exposure and indecent liberties with a child. Linked to two of eight recent flashing cases, five of them at Charlotte school bus stops. The defenders, Nathan Morbido, talked to the mother of one of the bus stop victims. Nate, what did she tell you? Well, she told us her daughter is still traumatized, and so is this mother who heard the third graders' screams. Tonight, while they're trying to move forward, we've learned the man accused in two of these cases previously faced the charge of flashing someone at a bus stop. I just heard a loud screaming. It was just like someone is being attacked. And and I'm like, whose child is yelling like that? It wasn't until Ebony Thompson's eight year old started screaming the word mommy that she realized her daughter was the one in trouble. I ran to the door and I, when I opened it, she was shaking, crying. She was hysterical. Her case is one of eight reported to Charlotte Mecklenburg police since February, all accusing a man of exposing himself to schoolgirls between the ages of eight and 18. There's nothing to laugh about this matter. This is something that is very serious and um, traumatizing to a young person. CMPD identified the suspect in two of those cases as Eric Henderson, a man with a history of similar crimes. Today in court, a judge ordered if Henderson is able to post his secured bond and be released, he must wear an electronic monitor. He's due back in court next week. In the meantime, court records show police charged him with at least four similar charges in the last two years, one in 2017 when they accused him of exposing himself at a bus stop. I'm glad that she knew to run and scream for her life. While officers haven't linked the man to Thompson's case at this point, this mother says her daughter is now living in fear. I was upset because she didn't want to go outside. She started to withdraw, um, stay in her room. The indecent exposure cases at these bus stops are a reminder that bus stops occasionally become crime scenes. We've looked through two years worth of police records related to bus stop crimes. We're going to tell you what else we found, what other crimes we found tonight at 6, along with what parents can do to better protect their kids. Reporting live, Nathan Morabito, NBC Charlotte.